men use the image of female perfection to motivate themselves and that's exactly right, that's precisely what they do, you see that in the Tom Sawyer story so Tom Sawyer is about 12 years old and he's still hanging around with his friends like Huck Finn and this girl moves across the street, Becky, and she comes out and he's struck by her for the first time in his life, something's changed and the first thing he does is hop up on a picket fence and show off and balance in front of her and he's saying, well look at me, look at me I'm he's like the male bower bird building something beautiful so the female will approve of it and it's, it's motivation you know, and that's something that I think modern women don't really understand about men they don't understand that at least to the degree that males are uncorrupted and, and not better because of being rejected they're doing everything they can to kneel before the eternal image of the feminine and try to make themselves worthy that's the chivalry story, right? that's what you should encourage in your partner so, and so out of chaos emerges this first form, it's the feminine form it's partly the form that represents novelty as such so, and, and on one hand it's promise, on the other hand it's threat that you wouldn't believe, and I don't know, because I don't know I, I don't understand the situation with women as well as I understand the situation with men obviously, being a man but I <coughs> I don't know if women have any idea how paralyzing they are to especially young men <coughs> a lar very large number of my clinical clients, but also young men I've talked to in general are absolutely terrified of women, because they're terrified of being rejected and the terror exists in precise proportion to the retraction to the woman which is a horrible paradoxical situation to be in, it's often why men make such fools of themselves in front of women that they're attracted to it's because first of all they don't see the woman that they're attracted to because what the hell do they know about her? they don't see her as an individual they see her as the manifestation of a judgmental ideal and then it's only in establishing the relationship with the actual woman that they can start differentiating between the judgmental ideal and, and the actual individual woman and that also requires a sacrifice and the sacrifice is you never can have an ideal woman so to have a relationship with any woman, you have to sacrifice the relationship with the ideal woman and you have to see the individual woman and separate her from the ideal and that's the same thing that happens to the hero in Sleeping Beauty, right? he sees the evil queen who actually turns into the dragon of chaos and it's not until he can, he can defeat her that he can establish a relationship with the actual princess and that's exactly the case, I had a, one of my clients who ran this men's group, which was quite interesting one of the things they had the initiates do, which was very intelligent, was to go out and ask 50 women in one day for their phone numbers why? politely, properly, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, a, it was a game, but it wasn't a stupid game and the idea was, get over your fear of rejection and how do you do that? by encountering it continually and continually and continually so that you're no longer paralyzed by this the degree to which the terrible part of the world manifests itself in your life is proportionate to how insufficient you are and we don't know the full extent of that, if you got your act together completely maybe all the suffering would disappear from your life or at least maybe all the unbearable suffering and maybe all the suffering, or the unbearable suffering from the lives of people around you too and you already know that, because there are people that you'll go to in a crisis that you can rely on, and you know they'll help you and you wonder what the world would be like if you were like that and everyone else was like that too we'd have a lot fewer crises and the ones that we do have would be a lot more manageable and so when people say, well why is the world so rife with suffering one answer to that is, because we're not yet what we could be and at least that's an answer that we have some control over, right? you're not going to negotiate directly with mother nature but you might be able to put yourself together a little bit and see if that works, at least it's under your control well here's the
decomposition of the, of the fundamental archetype the dragon of chaos differentiates on the one hand into the feminine, that's the unknown and the feminine differentiates further into the negative feminine and the positive feminine the negative feminine is the reason for witch hunts, it's the reason for um, you know there's a whole group online called men going their own way, MGTOW that's a very interesting group to go study there's lots of them, I don't know how many of them there are and most of them are older, many of them are men who've been through a particularly horrifying divorce for one reason or another and they're they've had enough of women so they, they tell the young men that they're teaching never have a permanent relationship never share your territory with a woman never share your possessions make sure you never li live together and don't stay with one long enough to enter a common law relationship because you will be stripped of everything that you have the female has been manifested in their life only as the negative archetype and they've got that confused with all women and that's partly you know, you've you got to ask yourself if you know the mythological stories maybe if you made the right sacrifices you wouldn't have so much trouble with women it's a, it's a good question to ask yourself first And, and I would also say, you know, if you're a woman who has trouble with men or you're a man who has trouble with women it's not the women and it's not the men, it's you because the women are telling you what's wrong with you and the men are telling you what's wrong with you and if you don't listen, then it's you it's either you or all men well, that's easy, it's all men well, that's certainly how it's played out in the world right now it's like, no, it's not all men you can be sure, by definition by definition and it's not all women, that's for sure I don't want to have anything to do with women it's like you're a pathetic weasel that's the same statement